Oscar Bevis, IFL TV, proudly sponsored by The Last here in London for a massive fight between Gavin Gwynn and Luke Willis for the British and Commonwealth lightweight titles. I cannot wait for this fight and just hearing people speak about it and speaking to friends and everyone in the boxing industry, um, it's certainly not going under the radar. This is a cracker, isn't it? Oh, definitely, 100%. Like, um, I think our styles as well, styl stylistically, I think it's... Um, It'll be a, a cracking fight, and uh, yeah, and f for the British title, like it's a, it's, it's a what a belt to win. Obviously, I, I, I've challenged for it twice before, but I, I fell short. I've come up against like world world class opponents, but I do believe, and 100%, uh, I'll be coming out there Friday night with the, uh, with the two belts. Yeah. Yeah, you mentioned challenging twice in the past for the title. Do you reflect on them in the build-up to this fight, or is it just, look, look, that was me in the past, I'm a better Gavin Gwynn now, I've improved anyway? Or do you kind of use them and reflect on them in, in any way in the build-up to this third attempt? Yeah, 100%. I think they were great learning fights for myself. Obviously, uh, uh, I think you need, every pro needs them learning fights. Like, you, you, you get some of these pro who go to, like, 14 and 15-0, and they unbox no one. Do you know what I mean? I, I boxed a Welsh title in my sixth fight. I didn't wanna. I didn't wanna go down the easy routes. Like a lot of people say, records are for DJs, and they are in boxing. They are. So I mean, one or two losses, people think you're done. You're, you're not done. You learn from them losses, and you come back better. And uh, I've shown that that you can do that. Yeah. But in terms of the fight, um, actually, I'm going to talk in terms of Luke first. Um, linked up with Tony Bellew 12 months ago, was talking about how he was begging for opportunities and he finally got some. That Ryland Charlton fight was like his coming out party, his best performance, his biggest win. Um, how much have you watched of that and how much are you taking from Luke's performance that night? Um, I actually watched that live. Um, it was a great fight. It was a... Uh, quickly before, were you expecting a Luke win or Ryland win? I'm, I'm not too sure because I didn't really, like both of them I didn't really know of. Um, uh, I only seen that Ryan, Ryan Charlton against uh, Joe Laws that one time. So... Didn't know a lot, a great deal about them. It was a great fight. Um, I thought Luke done enough to win, win the fight as well, yeah. Is it one of them where, coming into this, and I've just spoke to Luke about it as well, he said he kind of always does what he says on the tin, and I think he thinks that you're expecting the same thing. Are you expecting Luke to go in there and kind of do what he does best? He's not the biggest puncher, but we know he can box. Is that exactly what you're expecting from Luke? Um, well, I've, I've prepared for everything, so if he does come forward and wants to have a war with me, that would be the worst tactics in the world. So he could probably fire his trainer if he does that. But I know what he's going to do. He's going to box and move and try and keep it long and, and dance around the ring. But I'm, I'm the champion going into this. I'm, I've, I've got a Commonwealth title, so he's going to have to try and come and rip that belt off me. And as no one's going to be able to do that. They could chuck three Luke Willis's there Friday night and I'll, I'll still come out on top. And it's obviously going to be such a big reward for the person who wins this fight as well. Can you even let that play into the back of your mind? Because we know what boxing's about. People are always eager to talk about the future and yeah. what's next. Can you let that play into your mind at all? Um, yeah, because it gives you that bit of motivation as well. You know, one fight, you, like one fight away from like a big fight. Do you know what I mean? And and I am. I'm one fight away from a big fight. So I need to pull this win off on Friday. It's not that I want to. I need to. Do you know what I mean? And just in there, they were talking about sort of the coming from Wales and being a proud Welshman and fighting with a dragon and whatnot. Um, how important is that to you? Because when you look back over the annals of history, there are so many standout Welsh names. I suppose this is an opportunity to put yourself in that bracket. Yeah, de 100%, definitely. Like, um, it's, it's creating a little bit of legacy for myself, and uh, that's what I want to do. I want to put my name down in the history box in Wales. And, uh, Go with them other great champions like uh, Howard Winston. I just held an interview. Howard Winston, Johnny Owen, Kerry Hope when I uh, won the European title as well from Merthyr. So I want I want to go down as with one of them. Is there going to be a noisy mob coming from Wales? Oh, they're yeah. always noisy, they know well. <laughs> yeah, especially my lot. They uh, they're a bunch of nutters, and uh, I can't thank everyone enough for spending their hard-earned cash to come up and watch me and support me. 
uh, it's a it's a long old a long old trip to London from down in the valleys and uh, yeah I, I massive thank you to all my um, sponsors all my fans and obviously my trainers as well. Well, if you win, they can have a serious night out in London. That's one thing I do know. Um, just in terms of from now to uh, the fight night, what does it kind of consist of? Obviously, press stuff out of the way, um, way in tomorrow. What do you sort of do from here in, in the next 48 hours? Uh, literally just chill out now. Just rest up, might go for a walk and, do you know what I mean, just burn some calories so I can eat something after. Like, But um, other than that, um, just chilling out. Way in tomorrow, big refeed and then uh, go to work on Friday night and carry the both belts out with me, yeah. Get knocked, Sparta! <laughs> no heart needed! Welcome, Team Everlast, to the Team Everlast Fitness Act. Download the Everlast Fitness app and find your greatness within.